Here we have the superficial biopsy of the gastric mucosa. The surface of the gastric mucosa is lined by columnar type of epithelium with basally located nuclei and with neutral mucin content in the apical cytoplasm. In the superficial portion of the gastric mucosa, uh, we see gastric foveoli, and if we go deeper, here we have the gastric glands. Now let's pay attention to the lamina propria. In the normal lamina propria, we should see just very few lymphocytes and plasma cells, but here we have a quite dense inflammatory infiltration. It consists of uh, lymphocytes, plasma cells with eccentric located nucleus with a more voluminous cytoplasm and also uh, neutrophils are present. Those are these cells here. We can even find neutrophils infiltrating the epithelium of the foveoli. So this is typical appearance of chronic active gastritis. When we have uh, mostly lymphocytes and uh, plasma cells or mononuclear inflammatory cells in the lamina propria, we talk about chronic gastritis. And uh, when we also see some neutrophils, that proves that the inflammation is active. And we talk about uh, chronic active gastritis. Here we even have some eosinophils with eosinophilic granules in the cytoplasm. In some cases where neutrophils are quite sparse, we can usually find them in the area of the neck of the foveoli, like here. So this is uh, the typical appearance of the chronic active gastritis caused by H. pylori infection. And uh, let's have a look what we have here. This is actually H. pylori bacteria inside of the foveoli. If the infection is quite severe, as in this case, we can sometimes even see H. pylori in just H. and E. stain. But if we want to be sure, we can use some special stains or immunohistochemistry. So this is an example of Worthen's Terry stain, where H. pylori is visible as a brown to black rod-shaped microorganism or bacillus. So all of these structures, those are H. pylori bacilli. All right, so this is H. pylori positive severe chronic active gastritis. Uh, thanks for watching.